Hey friends, I'm Shelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to declutter and organize my linen closet with a few dollar store items that I bought. If you need some organizing inspiration, then just keep watching. Make sure you watch to the end to see how it all turned out. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new around here. So here's an overview of everything that's inside. So I'm going to need to take out all the seasonal stuff. I want to sort through the towels and just make sure I have enough for whoever is here. We have three bedrooms and our second spare bedroom is an office for my husband but if we have another baby we're gonna have to turn that into a nursery there's also a bed inside of that office so it doubles as a guest room but that bed's gonna have to go as soon as we have another baby so i'm gonna keep a few sets of queen size sheets just in case we have visitors before then but i'm gonna get rid of everything else and then we have a king size bed and those sheets are just so large so I'm gonna have to find a way to set them up nicely. These bins are actually all that I bought to organize in here. So I plan on putting the seasonal stuff in here and then putting them out on my balcony. And then I bought three of these bins from the dollar store and these are gonna be good for washcloths, hand towels, and just like extra toiletries. Down here is probably the worst. So this blanket is actually gonna have to go on the guest bed so that I'll free up some space. And let me take this out and just show you guys. Oh my goodness. Has anyone else done this? So I'm like obsessive about taking all of these samples from hotels and then famous for never using them. I feel terrible about getting rid of them. So if you guys could let me know in the comments below something that you think I could do with these. If there is like a shelter or something, do you think they would take these? I would hate to just throw them all away and like waste all of these products and throw out all this plastic so let me know in the comments below if you have an idea for what i can do with all of these top is our sleeping bag and our pool noodle we have a pool and we go camping a lot so those will just stay up there and then in this white bag my husband's grandmother knit well crocheted him like a bunch of um doilies and they're really really pretty i would never be able to get rid of those so we're gonna keep those and then i have all this space to work with just like i said to you guys before the the shelves are super deep so I should be able to fit quite a bit in here. This is the mess of stuff that's all in there. I'm hoping to reduce this by like a third at least. And then get it all pretty in there. I actually looked up on Pinterest how many towels you're supposed to have like per person in your household. Uh, so Pinterest said three towels or three sets. So a bath towel, a hand towel, and a washcloth per every person in the house. So since my husband and I both use robes when we shower, I decided that I'll keep three sets of towels just in case we have guests and then I will get rid of all the other ones. And then I will keep a beach towel or a pool towel for each of us. And then I'm gonna keep two sets of sheets for our guest bedroom and then all of our king size sheets. And if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Shelly Shush and I'm a stay at home mom, wife and homemaker. I post videos every Monday at 10 a.m. about motherhood and homemaking. On my channel, you'll see things like shopping hauls, organizing and decorating, and inspiration for life with a toddler. I just love to give you guys inspiration for your home life, so I would love for you to stick around and join my growing YouTube mom community. 
All you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up so YouTube tells me what you like. small white bins came from the Canadian dollar store called Dollarama. It's like our main Dollar Tree type place around here. They only cost me $2 each, so I was able to organize my entire linen closet for only $6. finished product up top I have my queen size flannel camping sheets and then the brown blanket is actually a snuggie that I wear around the fire and that one pink pillowcase is what I take when I go to hotels and then on the second shelf this is the most easily accessible one so this is for me and my husband's sheets so these are all of our king size sheets I put the flat sheet or sorry the fitted sheet then the flat sheet and then the pillowcases on top then down here we have our guest towels. We also have a basket in our bathroom with the purple guest towel. And these are our pool towels. These are our beach towels. This is an extra bath mat. In this bin, I have all the washcloths, guest washcloths. And in this bin, I have all the guest hand towels. I keep my washcloths in my bedroom. And then moving on down here, we have the guest sheets in the back. So I kept two sets. And then I kept all of the pillowcases because on our bed we have four pillows and so the gray will match with all of our sheets. So I kept all of the gray pillowcases and got rid of all the other gray sheets. Then over here I have extra blankets. These are going to be switched out soon because I keep blankets in our living room in a big basket beside the fireplace. 
And then finally down at the bottom, I ended up keeping just a few of those um, travel size things. So I have a vanity kit and a couple shower caps and some makeup remover wipes. In the basket, I put our extra toilet paper. And then in this little bin here, I have all of those sample size toothpaste and toothbrushes. I hope you guys liked this video and got some inspiration from it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. You can follow me over on Instagram at mrs.shelly.shoosh and I will catch up with you guys next week in a new video. Bye!